Hello everybody, this is Lizzie, Lizzie Christian here. I'm making my first YouTube uh, video and I'm a bit nervous so bear with me. This is about, really about my sixth attempt. I'm, um, <laughs> I'm here to share my journey um, through an operation on my cervical spine with you to help others who are going to go through the same operation as I am. As I have, um, I have watched many, many others who have helped me in my journey. Today, I received my pre pre op letter, my appointment for the fifteenth of October, where they will I will meet my anaesthetist and they do all tests and stuff like that to make sure that I'm okay for my op. Um, my operation is on the 3rd of November. My, um, my, my operation is going to be a double level anterior cervical disectomy with fusion and allografting, which is bone grafting, taking some bone from my crest of my hip and shaping into the same some shape as the... Uh, bone which will go back into where the disc was taken um, and it will all be held with a titanium plate um, and that is roughly what it entails you can see the video on YouTube it's quite graphic but it's very helpful to see the actual operation it only takes so uh, was it 45 minutes the most wasn't it Bob yeah, something like that. That's my hus my darling husband, Joshua, and my baby girl, Daisy May, who's sleeping in her bed and, and she'll probably be married for her tea very soon. So anyway, um, I'm on a lot of medication, a lot of medication, because I was diagnosed in 2010. I had tingling in my fingers and... And I had strange feelings in my neck, and I thought it was a trapped nerve. So what I did went to the doctors, and about two weeks later, because it didn't set itself back again, so um, there was all this running around an emergency. I thought, oh my lord, what's going to happen now? And it turns out that my my uh, cervical spine is slightly curved. And four discs are trying to fuse each other, and they are, well, not crumbling, but badly degenerative, badly worn, um, bony, bony, formal um, bits are um, crushing on the nerve and compressing um, on each other. So I've got to have this operation to hopefully relieve the pain. Or the, which is chronic every day, and also to release the trapped nerve, the C root, C six root nerve. So that is basically the, the, the sort of long of it. But um, every uh, every stage and every step that we take, I will be here and ta um, sharing sharing with you my my experiences so hopefully they you can um become get comfort from that i am wearing um, a scarf today i wear an, a, a, um, a, a long scarf and i put a heat pad on i know my neurosurgeon hates these things because it hurt it does it does happen to burn your neck if you leave it to touching the skin but what I do I wrap this in a scarf and put it round because my C5 and C6 um, this at the back of my neck they swell up and the pain is is excruciating it's a nerve pain which goes like like a corkscrew going through bone which is what I can describe it as and it goes all through my, my back my neck um, straight through down my arm and my look I can't I've got no feeling here 
So I, I pick up a piece of paper and I can and it goes dead and sometimes I drink, pick up a coffee and it just slips down and silly things like that but you take for granted but it, the pain I wouldn't wish it upon anybody. Um, so um, I, I use that. I also have um, a wheat bag that I heat up for in the microwave so I can put that round at night sometimes it does up the front and that helps um having this I don't have I have a single pillow and try and lay flat if I can um because some the, the pain is difficult at night to get sleeping and such like so I I have got a collar but I don't usually wear my collar because it, it it weakens the, the weakens the muscles around the, the the spine, so it's not advisable to. I've been told. So um, I've got. I'm at my bedside workstation today because I'm going through all my paperwork, my medical, my own medical notes, um, allergies, as there's a lot of them. Um, so I need to get that all sorted out for my meeting, my, my appointment on um, the 15th of October. So, I, so I'm, I'm going to be busy doing that. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can, I can say at the moment. Um, we all have our own pain levels. Um, I found that at night time... I have a, a sleepy tea. You can get a, um, a sleep tea, sleep easy tea in Sainsbury's, or chamomile tea that helps to relax, relax the muscles at night. Um, I normally take two two tea bags and, and infuse it in water and honey, and that helps to to just calm it down, doesn't it, Bob? And um, so and. And so that, that that's about what I can do at my what one can do at the moment. But if you are suffering the way that we do, um, we're we're not alone. We have other people like me and other people I've listened to um, with the same situation. So bear bear with it and just just if you see me on I, I'm on Facebook. Um, I'm 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 Lizzie Christian on Facebook. So, if you do have pro, if you if you reading, if you're listening to me now, and um, yes, I want to spe say, speak to someone about it, or just to talk about it, just just PM me, and then we can take it from there. Okay, because it's it's quite even though you have your family, um, anybody who, who lives day by day with constant pain it's a lonely existence isn't it Bob because yeah. nobody else it knows it's an unseen yeah. illness or condition or whatever so if you need someone if you need a hug just just get PM me and then you know we can chat if you want um, if you want to know anything else as well Maybe I can ways I I can help. Please do. Meantime, I've I'm got a lot of work to do, so I shall be back again after my my assessment, my pre op assessment. So I shall let you all know how it goes. Okay. So have a good day. Have a big hug, and take care of you. Until then, bye.